Uh, welcome to our Facebook Live. Uh, my name is Audrey Stockwell and I am with Court Physical Therapy. I'm going to be talking about Revitals Cancer Rehab Program today. We're so excited that you are here today to learn about this passionate topic of mine. Um, I'm here today with Lauren Ishmael behind the scenes. She's going to be asking me some questions and Andrea Rechtenwald is help helping with the tech stuff, which I'm so grateful for. Um, so uh, I want to start with just telling you guys a little bit about myself, and then we've got some prepared questions, but I would love if anyone watching um, would ask some questions. Have, if you all have any questions at home that you um, want to know about cancer rehab, please feel free to put it in the chat box. We'd be happy to answer that for you. Um, so a little bit about me, um, I am a physical therapist, I am also a lymphedema therapist, which means that I help patients with lymphedema um, treat their symptoms and get better from that. Um, I am specially trained to treat patients with oncology, so that means I've done a lot of extra coursework in um, treating patients or in learning how to treat patients with oncology going through cancer treatment and that have already been through cancer treatment. So um, have a lot of extra knowledge in the um, chemotherapy drugs, immunotherapy drugs, radiation treatments, surgeries for cancer. So know, having all that extra knowledge to help, um, help you get better during and after cancer treatment. Uh, so having said that, I think we'll go ahead and get started uh, with the questions. So hit me, what do you have? What is cancer rehabilitation? So what is cancer rehabilitation? Well, cancer rehabilitation is a specialty form of rehabilitation that is a multidisciplinary approach to helping patients that are getting ready to go through cancer treatment, currently going through cancer treatment, or are have already gone through cancer treatments, um, to help them get back to their function or maintain their function during treatment and just really enjoy, keep enjoying the things that they're doing in life. So we take this kind of multidisciplinary approach, specialized approach, and just keep, keep that approach in mind while we're keeping patients able to keep their quality of life and their function with their treatment. What can physical therapists and occupational therapists do to help treat people affected by cancer? That's a great question. So physical therapists, occupational therapists, and sometimes even speech therapy can help. So like I mentioned, it's a multidisciplinary approach. So physical therapists tend to work on things like strength, balance, gait, which means like you're walking. Um, they can work on, uh, there are specialty physical therapists that work on lymphedema, like what we talked about, which is swelling, um, that can sometimes occur after lymph nodes are removed from a surgery or had radiation. Um, there are specialty physical therapists that can deal with pelvic floor issues, so um, issues with bowel and bladder that can happen after certain surgeries or treatments for cancer. Um, so there's a lot of things that physical therapists can do. They can help work with neuropathy. Um, and then occupational therapists are going to deal more with your um, function activities of daily living, such as bathing, um, you know, getting back to uh, doing things around the house, doing things for function, um, getting back to work, doing things that you enjoy and love. And there are occupational therapists that specialize in hand therapy, so that numbness and tingling that sometimes comes with chemotherapy, um, there's special certified hand therapists can help deal with that as well. Um, and then speech therapists, which is another aspect, um, they can sometimes help with cognition and forgetfulness and speech and swallowing issues that occur. Why are people who are affected by cancer referred to therapy? Um, there are lots of different reasons why people affected by cancer are referred to therapy. So despite numerous treatment advances with cancer, you know, we've had lots of survivors. There's lots of advances in cancer that are allowing people to survive much longer. But with that comes side effects, unfortunately, that come with cancer. The most commonly reported ones are fatigue, pain, um, you know, decreased endurance, decreased strength, um, emotional issues, you know, so it kind of in distress, you know, so those are kind of the most common ones. The ones that we can really help and affect, uh, fatigue, decreased strength, endurance, neuropathy, those are some of the big reasons that we get referrals for 
for um, cancer rehab. And then of course, we do obviously have certified lymphedema therapists that help with that, as well as pelvic floor therapists that can help with any kind of bowel or bladder issues that may come up with that. But um, by far, fatigue is probably in weakness, just overall general deconditioning that, uh, that can occur. Um, and really, just to be just to be sure, we get a lot of referrals um, right, you know, upon diagnosis or when somebody's about to start their treatment plan. So we get a lot of referrals at that point because it's a good idea to get started um, with with therapy before you even start your chemotherapy or, or your treatment plan, whether it be chemotherapy, surgery, radiation, because we can kind of then set up an education plan to tell you how you can best maintain your function during your treatment. So that is what we're getting a lot of referrals for these days is let's get something set up on the front end so that you don't have to necessarily lose function during your treatment. We have a question that popped up. Someone would like to know what is neuropathy? Oh, great question. What is neuropathy? So neuropathy is when you get kind of that numbness, tingling, pins and needles. It can also be weakness. Um, and neuropathy can happen sometimes with um, certain types of chemotherapy drugs. So not all, um, not all chemotherapy causes neuropathy, and you may not get neuropathy at all with chemotherapy, but some, some drugs are more likely to cause neuropathy than others. Um, and it just, it just may happen where you start to get it, usually will happen in the fingertips or the toes first and kind of work its way up. Um, and so if you, if you are going through treatment and you start to notice those signs of numbness and tingling, oftentimes the oncologists and the nurses will talk to, talk to you about that. But the earlier you actually get treatment for that um, and, and get therapy for that, it can help. Now therapy can't completely eliminate it by any means, but the earlier you can get treatment um, and get seen for it, the, therapists can actually teach you ways to help manage the pain and help manage your function. And the function key is piece because is key. Function piece is key because that is what can lead to falls. Um, you know, if you start to lose feeling in your feet, then you can be more set up for falls. So what we can do is we start to get it early, we can teach you strategies to avoid falls and definitely some pain management strategies too. Be, we may not be able to completely get rid of it, but we can definitely help. How do I choose a cancer rehabilitation provider? Okay, how do you choose a cancer rehab provider? Well, you know, this is something to really talk about because not all physical therapists have a specialty in cancer rehab. So you need to be looking for somebody who has had extra training and certification in cancer rehabilitation. There is some extra training involved because there are some you know, to get the most um, efficient treatment and the most safe treatment. So um, the Revital Therapists at Court, we have extra training, again, like I mentioned, to be very knowledgeable about, for example, which drugs cause can cause neuropathy, which drugs can cause uh, potential strains on um, the cardiac system, what the, co uh, what the side effects of radiation may be. So we, we can kind of forecast what may happen during treatment and can educate you on things you can be doing to help minimize those side effects. We can also know what we need to be doing to safely monitor you in the clinic and how to tell you to do it at home so that you can be safe and effective with your treatment plan with chemotherapy. So that's gonna be important to be looking for somebody who has knowledge and extra training with cancer rehab. Is it okay to ask my doctor about therapy? Yes, definitely okay to ask your doctor about therapy. So we, as I mentioned before, we a lot of times work, we work as a whole care team. So we work in partnership with your medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, surgical oncologist, primary care doctor. So we are part of that care team where we work together to try to provide the best care for you as a whole. So what we are trying to do, again, is try to get to your issues early so that you don't have symptoms um, or we can mitigate those symptoms and that we can optimize your function and quality of life so that you can 
you know, maintain doing the things you love to do or maintain your work or get back to work or doing the things you want to do during your treatment. So I definitely would encourage you to ask your doctor about therapy early as possible in your treatment plan. Can I participate in cancer rehabilitation therapy during chemotherapy and radiation? Yes, definitely. So I think I've kind of answered that. Yes, you can. You definitely can participate in therapy during chemotherapy and radiation. So all the therapists, the revital trained therapists, are very knowledgeable about what are safe levels of exercise to do during chemotherapy and radiation. So they'll ver they very much know, you know, when you go through chemotherapy, they are monitoring your blood counts, and we are very aware of what are safe blood counts and what's safe to do. Um, ex research has shown that doing an exercise program during treatment actually can improve your endurance um, and maintain your endurance like up to 50%. So it actually can keep your function. It helps you with your chemotherapy completion rate. So it actually has been proven to help patients stay on track with their chemotherapy, which improves survival. Um, and it just helps overall function. So it, the studies have really shown that people who can stay active and stay and it doesn't have to be running a marathon. You know, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about just staying active around your house and staying, you know, functional. That Those patients tend to do better overall, and that's what we're trying to keep you uh, doing. Will I be too tired to attend cancer rehabilitation therapy? I think that's a great question. Will you be too tired? That's a big concern with a lot of patients. And a lot of patients, that's a big barrier. It's like they just feel too tired. It's like, are, exercise, are you kidding me? You're going to make me exercise while I'm so tired? But honestly, that is the number one way to get your endurance up. Like I just said, you know, that the research shows that exercise improves um, overall well-being and endurance by 50%. But, it, again, it's not this crazy level of exercise. So we're starting out very slow and you know very low level and then moving very slow but that but that level can actually make you feel so much better and helps you um, helps you improve so having said that if you are really tired that's where you can communicate with your therapist and talk about treatment plans that work for you so um, oftentimes I have conversations with my patients okay if you're having a day because oftentimes the fatigue level kind of goes like this so you'll have really good days and you'll have really bad days. So I'll talk to my patients and say, if you're having a really bad day where you feel like you can't even get out of bed, I want you to do these three things. And that's it. These three things. At least do this. And then the days that you feel better, I want you to do these things. So we come up with kind of a tailored, individualized plan for you that's going to work with your treatment schedule and what works. And so we can work around that fatigue and give you strategies to manage it. Is cancer rehabilitation therapy painful? Is it painful? No, we are actually helping to try to mitigate pain. So one of the main um, goals of therapy is to actually try to relieve pain. Um, so our therapists do a lot of, uh, you know, combination of hands-on techniques, um, exercise, stretches, things like that to be able to help manage pain. So we are trying to actually lessen pain. I think a lot of times when people think of therapy, they think of, you know, after a surgery or knee replacement or something like that, and it's like, oh, therapy's gonna be so painful. Um, oftentimes in these cases, it's not. Now, you know, having said that, after certain surgeries, um, there may be some discomfort in, you know, in some of the techniques that are happening or some of the exercises that you have to do to regain that range of motion. But that's a conversation that you just have with your therapist because we definitely do not want this to be increasing pain by any means. What will happen during my first revital cancer rehabilitation visit? So during your first session, um, a lot of it is talking. So a lot of it is just us getting to know you, you getting to know us, and we're trying to get just a history. We want to know the history of, um, of your cancer and your treatment. So that's going to play into a lot of our decisions of what things we are going to look at next, how we're going to, um, the things we're going to do to help you get better or to help you stay better through your treatment. So um, we're going to look probably at, we're going to get a lot of that history. We're going to get a lot of your medical history. We're going to find out what is really bothering you, if anything, at the moment. A lot of times if we're seeing patients at the beginning of treatment, there might be nothing that's really bothering them. But then we're going to talk about things 
that may be coming down the, the pipe and that things that we can do to help mitigate. But if something is bothering them, if like for example, if they are having that numbness or tingling, or if they are having some a lot of fatigue, um, then we'll talk about what is bothering them at that moment. Um, and then we're gonna do maybe some tests, so some baseline tests. So we'll take a look at some range of motion, so how much you can raise your arm, bend your back. We may look at your strength. We're gonna probably look at your um, balance. We'll look at your overall function, like how much you can get up and down from a chair, um, maybe a short little walking test. And all of that is really going to be tailored to the individual too, as far as what we can actually really look at. How many visits will I need and how often will I need them? So that's a great question. How many visits will you need and how often will you need them? That is also a very individualized, um, very individualized. So again, if we're seeing somebody more at the beginning, then you're going to need probably less visits. We'll do them very kind of interspersed throughout um, your treatment, we, and it's not going to be a three time a week, four week t type of deal. Um, but you know, if you're having an issue, then we may um, suggest that we have you come in more frequently. So a lot of that's really going to depend on um, what you're dealing with at the moment, and you can kind of really tailor that and talk to your therapist. How much will this cost? Is it covered by my insurance? Um, it is covered. Most insurance plans cover this. That's the great news. Um, so it is covered by insurance, um, and you can always, we at court always call to verify your insurance benefits before you come in to let you know what um, is actually covered. What is tele-rehab? Oh, tele-rehab. That's great. So this is tele-rehab is very uh, beneficial for this population. So most of you guys have probably done some sort of telehealth visit with your doctors, um, so you're very familiar with the process, but this works really great for patients going through cancer treatment because a lot of times getting to another appointment is pretty difficult. Um, so so tele-rehab works really well. Um, so we can oftentimes be video and just go um, video, audio, and just do a visit that way, and we can kind of see you in your own home and kind of strategize and do exercises to help get you stronger, help get you uh, balanced, and just help make you feel better. Okay, um, the other thing just to let you know that we have many clinics that offer this um, service. So we offer three different convenient care options. So we offer um, we offer in the clinic and we have we have several different um, we have about 30 clinics that offer our cancer rehab services in Lexington, Louisville, Southern Indiana and Central Kentucky. So you can go to our website at www.court.com. It lists all the clinics that offer this service. And we also offer so we offer in the clinic, we offer tele-rehab, um, and then we also offer it in the home. So if you're really struggling and can't, you know, you're have, your immune system is down or you can't get to a clinic for any reason, we also can come to your home and offer this service. Um, so to learn more about the service, you can um, go to www.court.com and you can also um, call us for a referral at 1-800-645-COURT. Thank you.